do you ever think in life you may lose your ability to see your loved one in this beautiful world? Do you ever think in life that you have to live in a world with only darkness? Do you ever think how life will be if you lose your ability of vision? Can you imagine? Reading with Blur Vision Eating And also driving. Amoris's fugax is known as a transient monocular vision loss, involving diminish or absence of vision in one eye, which then progresses over a few seconds and can last up to a few seconds to a few minutes. People ranging from as young as 14 years old to adults above the age of 40 years are at risk of having Amoris's fugax. If it's not treated, Amoris's fugax may cause the duration of the sudden vision loss to be longer or resulting in permanent vision loss. Have you ever heard of this disease? Let me explain this for you. The symptoms of Amoris's fugax are severe headaches and dizziness. Other than that, the symptoms of Amoris's fugax includes blurred vision. It means that the vision of an individual suddenly turns blur. Most of the eye problems are initiated from blurred vision. Blurred vision are normally linked to unhealthy aspect and can lead to diseases such as glaucoma, UATs, AMD and torn retina. Numbness on half side of the face or body is also one of the symptoms of Amoris's fugax. Now, let's see the main factors of Amoris's fugax. The first main factor for amaurosis fugax is the thromboembolism event. Second, stress. Third, education. Fourth, socio-economic status and geographic setting. Moving on to the biological factor, it is caused by the internal carotid artery. The plaque ruptures. It contains body cell lipid, which diffuse into internal carotid artery. The platelet coagulate those contents. Then, thrombus is formed. 
The moving thrombus is called embolus. The embolus moves to retina or ophthalmic artery which causes amaurosis fugax. Now, let's see the psychological factor of amaurosis fugax. When a person gets a disease, he or she goes through stress. And when they are in stress, it makes them break down so badly, which they may have incidental emotion, which affects their perception and also their behavior. What happens next? When they are stressed, their health is also deteriorated. When their health is deteriorated, it causes amaurosis fugax. Moving on to the social factor of amaurosis fugax. The first factor is socioeconomic status. Second, is family physical violence third is living adaptation fourth is education fifth income and lastly is the eye care service Now, let's see the treatment of amaurosis fugax. What a person can do to treat themselves. Firstly, quit smoking. Second, control their blood pressure. Third, calcium channel blocker. Fourth, to go for vascular surgery. And fifth, to give a good and proper care for the eye. The saying goes by, don't cry over spilled milk. Do take care of your eyes. Is this a better view? If your answer is a yes, Please share this video to the one you care and love. So that they will be aware of Amoris' few gags.